accurizing the turbo elevator on the saucer of the Enterprise. Coming up next on Monster Hobbies, let's build it. Hello once again Star Trek fans, my name is Trevor Slescu and I'm the owner of Monster Hobbies in High River, Alberta, Canada. So, we have just concluded a video series where I showed you how to build one of these Star Trek Enterprise kits straight out of the box with no alterations except for a couple of pieces of plastic to reinforce the pylons to the warp engines and the secondary hull. So, we're going to go ahead and start to show you in the next set how to accurize the parts of your Star Trek model to make it just look that much better than what's in the box. So now we're going to start by examining the saucer and noting the problem with the turbo elevator and the bridge. So let's go down without further ado to our bench and check out how to fix the turbo elevator problem. Welcome back down to our bench, Star Trek fans. So what I have here is, of course, our saucer, the top of our saucer section for our Star Trek Enterprise kit. Of course, we can build this as any one of the sister ships in the fleet. It's not a problem. But if you take a look at the saucer section here, where the turbo elevator uh, connect, connects to the bridge, you'll actually notice that right here, it doesn't connect at the top. There, here, let's put my hat right here. Yeah, you can see that that turbo elevator shaft doesn't actually touch the top of the bridge. So this is one of the problems with the 18 inch kit, kit number 6676. So in order to correct this, we're actually gonna cut off the turbo elevator and we're going to replace it with some of this round, solid, plastic, um, plastic. So these rounds are actually 90862. That's the part number. And they are 0.156 of an inch or four millimeters round. So we can just take one of these off. And as you can see, I mean, this is a fairly long tube. Actually not a tube, it's a rod. Uh, it matches the base of the turbo elevator because this turbo elevator is not straight up and down. It's actually a cone if you look at it close enough. For long enough, look into my turbo elevator. <laughs> no, anyway, yeah, so you'll notice that it's a cone. Uh, but this rod, of course, is straight up and down. It's a proper tube. Now, can you imagine if this was a turbo elevator, how long that would actually be to travel? No, anyway. <laughs> okay, so we're going to go down to the bench and I'll show you how to remove this turbo elevator and replace it with a new one. Now, here we are down on the bench and these are the tools we're going to use. As you can see, there's not very many. So we have a sandpaper block, which I've got dual sided. This is 180 and this is finer than 180. <laughs> I have two half round files. This one is a fine file, as you can see by the uh, the file teeth, it's pretty smooth. This is a more aggressive half round. It's also a rusty half round. <laughs> Victim of the High River Flood of 2013. And of course I've got a XL hobby knife with a very old, awful blade. I'd suggest getting a new one, but... I can't seem to find myself new ones. And then I've got our tubing here for a turbo elevator. And I'm not sure if I really need this or not. I can't remember, but I do have a saw, a hobby saw as well. So those are the tools and the supplies you're going to need for this assignment. Now we have our saucer. And this is the molded in kit turbo elevator, which we must remove. Oops. Yeah, let's use the saw. So I got the saw and I'm putting it onto the actual B and C decks. And I'm just going to carefully saw along the bottom of the turbo elevator. Hopefully not catching the B and C deck here. And 
Let me just turn this so I get away from the leg of the tripod. And check on the BC deck. I'm not cutting into it, which is good. Because I've done that before. <laughs> Had to use a lot of putty to fix that up. I feel like I'm starting to scratch it a little. So I don't know, you can kind of see a bit of a notch going on in there. Just a little. way I realized I forgot to mention in our tools there that you also need your hobby glue but that's usually pretty much a given so I got to there so far I'm gonna take the hobby knife and just go more into the the heel of the blade instead of the tip of the blade and just rock this back and forth down here a little. And oh, let's see. How much more song do I have? Okay, I think I'm getting close to it. Come on, there it is. There, we have removed the offending turbo elevator, the molded on one, and I dropped it on the floor. And now that means it's gone forever till I step on it. <laughs> As most of you hobby guys know. Okay, so what we need to do next is yeah, I did cut a little bit into there. So I'm going to take the sandpaper here and using the old cross sanding and everything that I showed in early videos, I'm going to sand this area smooth. So far so good. Use the fine sandpaper on the other side. And then of course I'm going to go over this area here with other finer sandpapers. And you also want to hold your block up this way. The other thing to do here to get rid of that notch, you can use your, your flat file. I'll use the aggressive one here. And just file this into there. Yeah, it's looking better already. There, so you want to get this area here that perfect, perfectly flat for when we glue on the new turbo elevator. So that essentially is that. And you can perfect this again by using your sandpapers to go over this area here on the back of the B and C deck just to get it all nicely evened out. All right, now that we've got that sanded out and smoothed, you may be wondering, now how are we gonna put the turbo elevator back on, the new one? Well, first off, if you can really catch this, you'll see there's a circle right there. Oh yeah, the camera can get it. Uh, it's sort of a discoloration. Okay. That is where the, your turbo elevator was. And the other indication of finding center is the hole for the bridge dome is right dead center with that turbo elevator where it used to be. So now, taking a look at the bridge, the dome, you can see that it's round and it kind of curves up to a cone like this, right? It's, this is not straight up and down. 
So we have to take this turbo elevator, which is basically a straight up and down rod, which is not going to touch the top of the bridge dome, and we have to figure out how to get this rod to go into about there. Now one way we could do that is get a bigger drill and try to drill in here some weird way, but I actually found an easier way to do it. So what we basically do is, of course, try to figure out where the curve comes up. It's pretty close to the bottom there, as you can tell. So our turbo elevator off this rod is not going to be very high. So what we can do is just take the hobby knife, give this a couple of cuts down this way, just rough ones. Oops. And there, see you kind of got a flat spot going on. Now the flat spot should start to bring the turbo elevator in towards the bridge, as you can tell. So we got a bit of a flat spot there. And now we're going to take this half round file and we'll zoom the camera down here. Okay, that's not a good idea. <laughs> All right, just bear with me. Okay, we got this spot here and our little bit of cutaway. I'm going to take this half round file now. And what I'll do is push the half round into the flat spot that we made. And try to keep your half round file, you know, perpendicular to all this. And we're going to file in a half round curve into this flat is already starting to happen here. Oops, as you can tell. So we'll just try to flatten this around this in. Shouldn't take too long with this aggressive file. So now let's check this out here. So what I've done is I've actually taken a little more time on this off camera, but here is the half round look of this rod. As you can tell, it's, uh, it's a small half round. It almost looks like the back of the warp engines now, you know, if you look at it this way. So we got our half round here and that of course is the flat part of the rod. So now, ooh, that's really big. <laughs> uh, let's see. Okay. Let me back the camera up. All right, so there's our bridge. And now, as you can see, I got the half round. It's right up tight against the the walls of the bridge, the outer walls of the bridge. So what I'm going to do is I will cut the rod just above here, sort of like back there, and then I'm going to glue this on. And the height of course is going to come up above the bridge. But what we will do is you let this dry and then you can take your hobby saw and hold it parallel to the bridge. When this is all glued nice and solid, you would cut through here and then of course take your sanding block and sand it flush to the top. Remember this will be back a little bit at the top here but that's okay it, at least it's still connected all the way around to uh, the top of the back of the bridge. Alright so here's what our turbo elevator looks like after sawing off the large rod so what I will do here is just get a little bit of glue. Now it's dripping down the straw here. Just put a little bit back there. And now I will turn this around so I can see it. And we'll slide the turbo elevator and attach it to the back here. Just make sure this is correct. I'm gonna 
push it around until it actually glues and connects to the back of the bridge. I'm quite off center. So we will squish it around this way. Okay, that's centered to that dot. And now I've got to straighten it up at the bottom. Uh, and I'm off center the other way. Okay, as you can tell, this takes a little bit of maneuvering to get her in to the correct spot. And take a look at from that angle, make sure she is sitting as best as possible. All right, there is our bridge glued in there, nice and parallel. And as you can see, it it does fit a lot better closer to that dome. It does look kind of like it's sloping forward, doesn't it? However, all right, we got it straight up and down across the back and that way as well. Okay, so once this glue dries, give it overnight and then just take your saw and I'll show it this way. Keep it flat to the bridge and just saw it straight off there. Okay, so you see where it's going? And then finish it off with your sandpaper block using the cross sanding across the top. Being careful not to, of course, hit the top of the bridge. And uh, there, looking down from the top, you can tell that's a lot closer, more accurate to where it's actually supposed to be on the studio model. So I've done this many times in the past and I'm going to switch out this saucer and show you what a primer painted saucer looks like with the proper turbo elevator. Here's one of the saucers now that I primer painted and you can see that that turbo elevator looks a lot better than the kit molded turbo elevator that didn't even connect to the body. And see there it is nicely formed up against there. And yes, it is quite a beautiful, remarkable looking turbo elevator. Very, very similar to the actual studio model and a lot more functional and a lot more sensical or sens sensible, <laughs> sensical, because now the turbo elevator, I guess, imagine the turbo elevator shaft underneath here. So it comes up from the neck of the ship and goes across up under here and now it can go straight up and the doors will actually open onto the bridge just like they're supposed to. So that brings us to the conclusion of our video on making a better, more realistic looking turbo elevator shaft. We hope you enjoyed that episode of Monster Hobbies Let's Build It where we got to fix the turbo lift elevator problem with the bridge. And if you would like to check out the other cool Star Trek models on our website, please visit us at www.monster-hobbies.ca. And if you would like to actually contribute to my video series, you can go to our homepage on our YouTube channel and look along the border at the bottom. There should be a PayPal button and you can click on that to make a donation if you wish. And if you would like to see how I built a saucer section out of the box, please check out this video here. If you would like to know how to put decals on your starship, please click here. And uh, check out another great video over here. And don't forget to like and subscribe to us right down here so we can continue to make these awesome videos. And until next time, live long and prosper.